Hey guys, how's it going? Hey, it's Christmas. I'm just gonna cook a turkey here. Uh, basically, a 12 pound bird. We're gonna dress them and uh, throw them in the oven. We're looking at roughly about uh, three and a half hours of cook time. So, this is what it looks like right now. I'll let you guys see through the process of uh, cooking this bird. I already washed it, cleaned it, and we'll have a good day. We'll see. See you later. Well, okay, we're going to start. Make sure you put a good amount of salt, pepper. To me, everybody always worry about salt, but it's the salt that actually draws the moisture from the skin which makes it gives it that crispy golden flavor that's one thing my mother taught me back when I was a young lad hanging around in the kitchen with her while she was teaching me how to cook and bake and stuff like that and my older brother and my dad were always out hunting and I was always too young to go, I was always told, so I became a proficient cook <laughs> because of it and my mom. So, I guess in a sense, and don't forget to salt up the inside as well. Uh, but anyway, salt, pepper, put it, uh, some water under everything else so nothing really and we're looking at roughly about this bird three to three and a half hours of cooking time uh, the ovens been preheating I don't get that that word as George Carlin said once, pre this, pre that. It makes no sense. It's either you have an oven that's on or it's off. Uh, what is this preheating stuff? You know? So, it always never really made sense. Just like when he was talking about pre-recorded and all that stuff. Pre-boarding was another one that always made me laugh. How do you pre-board a plane? Do you get on before you get on? It just never made sense to me. But anyway... I'm just rambling here now. Okay. We got Mildred all dressed up for the dance. She keeps sticking her finger out at me here. I'm trying to tuck it away, but she's giving me the middle finger here all the time. I think that's a sign. Right? <laughs> So, uh, yeah, make sure you take the stuff out of the inside of the bird, too. That's the very important thing. I remember my ex-wife did that with a 30-pound bird. She uh, forgot to check the inside, so there was the packet of uh, gizzards. and At that time, back in the day, they, they put everything in back in the bird. It was very important that you had all the gizzards and... And uh, next, everything that the bird came whole. My favorite spice. I am Hungarian, after all, so. But, oh, uh, ah, let's go with the, everybody uses poultry spice but really poultry spice is all it is is sage and thyme put together uh, <laughs> that's that's basically poultry spice you know so you could always make your own mixture of poultry spice you know so but today i'm gonna use some sage ever so slightly Really just add flavor. But anyway, I'm gonna put water under this. 
and we should be ready to rock and roll, people. Oh, I should. A little bit of olive as well. Underneath. I'm looking at roughly about, let's see about a, a cup of water under there. Keep things going. You can always add more if it starts uh, flowing away. But the water actually, as my always, my mom always told me, it was giving the bird a basting aspect that it, oh, let's say bite a Mildred. And we'll have a look at Mildred in maybe about 45 minutes to an hour give her a little bit of basting see how she's doing is she still happy to go to the dance or not oh Mildred you're touching the top holy okay oh. okay I'll see you guys in, in a little bit Hey guys, back here. Turkey's been cooking for roughly two hours now. Uh, the ham here. Uh, debating on making this or not because I do have a 12 pound bird. And this is supposed to be okay. This is like six, seven pounds. Seven pound ham. Yeah, what the heck, eh? Let's make a ham. Just curious, how many, how many people like putting mustard and brown sugar? Oh, look at that, eh? Sneaky buggers, eh? They give you that yellow look. <laughs> they put it into a yellow packaging. Ah, it's getting funnier and funnier. Why well, not just be honest with the people that you're selling to, you know? Here I thought that was like fat from the uh, the ham, and all that is is just packaging. <laughs> he was worried about dumping all that fat out. Anyway, oh, there is a bone in there. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, there you are. Okay. But anyway, I guess we'll throw Mr. Ham in now for. Uh, Hopefully about an hour, hour and a half. Uh, and we'll come back uh, to show some turkey, show some ham when it's at its point of cooking so uh, I'm gonna set Alexa's timer and Merry Christmas everybody hope your meals are just as good <clears throat> back here I'm gonna make some uh, cucumber salad uh, and some stuffing so a little onion garlic celery uh, and I'll get the stuffing going like the potatoes going as well so I'll uh, come back to you guys getting ahead of myself here I'm 
guess the camera wasn't running while I was. Greatest mandolin I ever seen or used. The slices that it makes are just awesome. Okay, now we need a little bit of sugar and garlic as well. Oh, hey guys, look. Turkey. She's looking nice. Mildred is looking happy to be at the dance. To be at the party. Hey, well, she should be. She's the uh, guest of honor, eh? done this before. Right now, so I'm trying to rush here because I got company coming too, so you know trying to get everything prepared and stuff. I still got potatoes to do and try to figure out too. But anywho It's really just to taste. Uh, a lot of people do it differently. Uh, myself, I just over the years I've just have a inclination for it. Three tablespoons of sugar, three tablespoons of vinegar, and then we need some cold water. Cucumbers will release more water, so. But, uh, yeah. Let's put this in the fridge for now. Wow. Running out of room. Running out of room in the fridge. Not good. Okay.
cut up the celery. And then <clears throat> Get these guys going. It's a real garlic. Sizzle. This smells, hey? I love the smells of Christmas. Oh. There's a garlic. Honestly, I never measure. 
<laughs> a lot of times I have no idea how much or what I actually put into it. A lot of people ask me, like, what you put in there? And a lot of times, honestly, I'm not being, you know, sneaky about it. I just really don't know. A lot of times I just go for flavors, taste, uh, uh, consistency, you know. And for some reason, it always seems to work out. <laughs> so, that's just how I always cook or learn to cook with my mom. So, that's how she was too. There's really no written down recipes. You know, you had a base to follow. Sorry guys, I'm putting potatoes off the camera here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, she uh, she never really worried about like how much. A lot of times I've seen her just grab with her hand and throw a handful of salt or a handful of this, handful of that, or a pinch of this or a pinch of that. That's how she always actually said it to me, you know. You know, oh, just a, just a pinch or put in a wooden spoonful, you know, that kind of stuff. You know, it's just really no really set measurements oh, and another tablespoon of olive oil here I don't know why this is going so fast there we go I'm starting to get those smells <whistles> gotta love it <sighs> gotta love Christmas man don't like the mess but I love the food. <laughs> so. Okay, I'll get back on to that. Start thing. If there's one, oh, I should make some kind of vegetables. But hey, I always keep forgetting. You know, those veggie things, Brussels sprouts, or... It's kind of funny, stores didn't have Brussels sprouts this year, and I went to pick some up. Shortages everywhere, I guess, you know. And what can you do? You know, these are the times. Times are already changing. Probably can tell times are changing. I don't know for the better. Uh, in my eyes, I don't think so. You know, the way society is and everything else. I don't know. I grew up in a different era, I guess. You know, you know and there was a lot more respect, and uh, people took pride in their work. Courtesy, thank yous, no thank yous, you know, please and thank you, that was, you know, it was always a big thing growing up as kids, you know, we always made sure, no matter what it was, you always said please and thank you, and you're always courteous to your elders, that's one thing, you know, I always was taught. Like your elders. Nowadays, <laughs> that's hilarious. Is there that? I don't know. I don't see it. They're getting younger and younger and bigger attitudes, you know? It's. Grab a couple things here, folks, and I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, 
Yeah, I'll be uh, cutting up uh, the potatoes. Oh, uh, the uh, stuffing is done. So uh, we'll be throwing that in the oven here right away too. Oh, and the ham. That is done too. It's saying I'll have to check the temperature on that. Uh, check the temperature on that ham. We're sitting at 120. Let it go for a little bit longer. And, uh, cut these potatoes up. I'm not sure if as long as they're about the same size. Cook. Is now basically the only thing we're waiting for is the, gonna be the potatoes, gravy. Uh, I don't know if I'll make some Brussels sprouts, roasted Brussels sprouts. But uh, yeah. The involvement of making a Christmas dinner. Last year I made a, a goose and turkey. This year I'm doing ham and turkey. The goose was awesome last year. I, mean, I really enjoyed it. Not too many people like goose for some reason. Who likes goose? Anyway, honestly. Like, you know, if you want to answer me in the comments. Get these guys, uh... 